hello good morning and welcome to another upload my name's emma don't forget to subscribe for hauls and weekly vlogs i'm very early it's before six o'clock i had to get up at five i've still got a kind of a morning raspy voice beds and made don't judge me i am off to Cornwall today with Britta, which is very exciting. Um, I'm going to go down and make my kind of own tea bag. You know I love mugs, you know I love tea. So this is like the dream campaign for me. So I'm gonna bring you along with me. The campaign's called The Great British Tea Blend and I'm gonna be chatting her about if you use Britta, um, it can make your tea taste nicer. Because we've got loads of hard water um, areas in Britain and sometimes that can make your cup of tea taste not very nice. And all you people who don't live in the UK, Oh my gosh, if you're feeling happy, put the kettle on. If you're feeling tired, have a cup of tea. If you're feeling worried, fancy a cup of tea. It's just what we do, it's part of our everyday life. So I'm gonna get on the train. It's gonna be a long journey. However, I'm quite excited because one, um, as you know, we've been doing loads of building work in the house. So I'm going to have a couple of days away from that. Um, and two, I've downloaded loads of podcasts. Stephen's bought me like a little train picnic and some magazines. So I'm going to enjoy it. But I actually am. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm parched. I'm actually going to go and get a cup of tea. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's the train. It's by the sea. That's so beautiful. Because I live in Birmingham, that's so very far away from the sea. This is just... <gasps> gorgeous i'm here that was such a lovely lovely um train journey very different from sunny birmingham i'm in trigothnan um which is the uk's only tea plant and why i'm here is i'm going to be doing some tea tasting i'm also going to make my very own decaf tea bag as i mentioned earlier and i'm very excited I can't wait to go to the hotel as well, evidently that's supposed to be beautiful. So we're going to go and do some tea tasting now and we're going to kind of see the difference between using a British filter and not a British filter and how it makes the tea taste because, you know, we all love a good cup, I don't we, in the UK. So I'm going to go in. I'm also um, just going to move into this house, if that's okay. So Stephen, you know, we've got the garden done. Could we get this done? the front yeah okay i'm gonna go in now right i'm here with jonathan and we're gonna do some um tea tasting we've got the hard water and then we've unfiltered hard water and then we've got the filtered water there and we've got these are tea bags let's see so this is the hard water we've gone for a fancy cup guys and a fancy tea bag because you guys are fancy right okay i'm ready for this They're definitely different colours, aren't they? One's lighter. Yeah, and uh, give this equal brewing time, and oh. what you'll get is a much deeper, darker. Thing. What's the ideal brewing time for a tea bag? Can you confirm? Four or five minutes, way longer than anyone wants. Four or five minutes, so not a quick. See, parents, sometimes yeah. mine's are for 20 minutes. I know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> sometimes I'm mine's like jet black sometimes. Okay, so I'll come back in five. Here we go, the final results. So we have got. The hard water over here and you can see it's much more cloudy this is a lot clearer and on the top you can see a little bit of scum that's nice isn't it so you can see with the brita filter it makes the tea just much clearer and i'm going to do a little taste test now to see which one i prefer i'm being given a tasting spoon i'm expecting it to be oh it's just a spoon <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna spit it out on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to slurp properly. Okay. Oh, you might want to forward this slurpy bit. Of what? Is that is that real? Make it louder. You can get more air in the Okay. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Oh, hang on, I can't get enough. Right, hang on. Oh, that's very strong. No, oh, that's not mm, the slurp. <laughs> Should we try the other one? Clean spoon. So that was the hard water tea. Yep. This is the one with the British filter. <laughs> Just did the slurp in the background. So this is the um, the, fil the British filter one. Much nicer. That is much tastier than the other one. It's like a, a bit more fragrant. Um, so. 
that's very good. Apologies for me slurping on the internet. Okay, I love tea, you love tea, we all love tea. So I want the top tea tips from the top tea tip man. <laughs> that's your new nickname. So give us, give us your best tips. Right, Emma. Yes. Top tea tips. So first of all, get the, tip, the tips to look good. So you need to make sure when you open the loose tea, especially loose tea, that the, you've got nice big chunky tips. Okay. And uh, don't boil the water. Everyone thinks you should boil the water. I always boil the no, water. Boil what it. if I boil the water three times in a row because I forgot to make it? Is that really <laughs> bad? Normal, <laughs> but leave it for five minutes while you're off sorting okay. the water or whatever. When you come back and it's dropped to about, let's say, 85 Celsius, so you, can, you can't put your hand in it, but it's, it's still yeah. not boiling. That is perfect for good tea. So top tip is better quality tea, lower the temperature. Okay, that's very good. Tip, is I know you, you can't touch caffeine. There's no. loads of people don't like caffeine, but you can decaf your own tea at home. <laughs> Love it. Uh, it's, it's low calf, not decaf. Yeah. But basically, you flush the hot water over the leaves, infuse it for about three, four seconds, throw that away, then make the tea as usual with the leaves that are left. Yeah. And you've got a really great, tasty cup of tea. It's not totally decaf, but it's like 90%. Yeah, so maybe if you wanted one like in the evening and you didn't want to be up all night, that's a good that's idea. Good. And with the filter, it'll taste nicer as well, well won't exactly. it? Well, exactly. Use a Brita water filter, kettle jug if you've got one, or, or you know, get good water to start with, and then you flush off the caffeine, because caffeine releases really quickly, yeah. and you're left with all the flavour, but hardly any caffeine. Okay, that's a fab. I should tell Nanny San that. That's my mum. You don't know who <laughs> Nanny San is. She's my mum, but she also can't have much caffeine. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm in a hotel room. I'm in the hotel room. I've had such a lovely day. Um, oh, um, we went for a lovely walk around the gardens. I'm gonna do some more tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's a bit better. I'll insert a clip to, as, I, as I'm talking. And it is beautiful um, to walk around. And the gardens are like the personal garden of the house. So it's just so lovely. But look at my hotel room. Should we do a, should we do a little quick cheeky hotel tour? I'm gonna go and have some dinner in an hour. Um, so here we go, here's the room. Um, they have left me some little tea, some biscuits, a teapot, all of it. So, oh my gosh. I, excuse me, I'm just gonna sit here and write my memoirs whilst looking out at the land. Um, you look at the bathroom together? Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. A bath as well. Hello, guys. You know, it's quality when you've got white company. So, fantastic. It's so interesting to learn about the tea. Um, and it was so interesting to, you know, take a look at the British stuff and realise that if you use the Brita filters, it actually makes your tea taste nicer. Um, even those of you who love a decaf, let me know below if you love a decaf. Also, I had caramel tea for the first time. I've never had caramel before. Um, they've left me some, so I'm definitely going to have one of those before bed. Um, so, lovely. Right, I'm going to go and have some dinner. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to jump on that big bed. And then I'm going to have some dinner. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning from the Alberton Hotel. I had a lovely night's sleep. I watched the end of um, season two of the OA. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I find it so odd, but I managed to get to the end. Um, so I've just had a shower. I'm gonna put some makeup on. We're off today to go back to Tregothanin and we are going to create my own decaf tea. We're gonna create my own decaf tea. I can't wait. I'm trying to think of some like funny names for it. Like, I don't know, like Sips Tea or I don't know. Um, that wasn't a very good example. Um, but we're gonna go and do that today. So I'm really excited. So going back with Britta, making my own tea so I can take it home, use my Britta filter and stuff and it'll taste all nice. Um, so I'm really excited, so I'll see you in a minute. I am back, I'm gonna do some tea blending. I just went for a lovely walk. I'll insert a clip now of some of the stuff that we saw. This is all the tea here. Yeah. You don't see know. how soft and waxy these leaves are? Oh. That means um, that it's obviously new, it's malleable. Yeah. That is gonna wither nicely and bruise evenly, which is really important to the flavor of the tea. I'm gonna blend my very own decaf tea. And on Instagram, I've asked 
people to come up with a good name, which will be too late for you lot, but hopefully by the end of this video we'll have the name. I'm hoping people haven't said rude things. Um, so make sure you go and follow me on Instagram for all kind of polls and Q&As. I do loads over there. So um, I reckon that fancy lady's going to crop up quite a lot. That's what, that's what I guess. And also some rude ones I'll never be able to publish. So um, I'll come back when we're making the tea. He's back. <laughs> we're going to blend the perfect decaf tea for me. So what's the first thing that we have to do? Well, you have to... Follow through from what you tasted, and I think you really like um, quite a strong cup of tea. But yeah. Obviously, no caffeine. Tea no tea caffeine. Tea. Yeah. So um, I'm going to suggest you go with some of these rich black-looking leaves. Okay. They've got lots of tannin in it, but you're okay with tannin, and um, that's got a good malty breakfast brew type flavour. That's um, perfect. I want my tea to taste like tea, tea. even though it's decaf. I just asked if I like manuka. I've never had manuka. Right. You've got to try manuka. So manuka is. Famous for making honey. Yeah, we just went to see the plants. Oh, yeah, okay. pretty. But the when the flowers come out in June, little white flowers, bees love them. But we grab some as well and we dry them and we make them into uh, little dried manuka flowers and dried manuka leaves, which look great in tea. And do um, they taste? What do they taste like? A little bit, sort of like the smell of the outback, if that makes sense. So if you, I mean, in Birmingham, we don't get much smell of the outback, <laughs> to be on, to be honest. Well, take some with you. Try it. <laughs> I'm going to make you up a little bit of an outback tea. Yeah, put a bit of outback tea. tea. Let's make this, let me go home and make this a really fancy tea. So we've got a bit of the outback. Yeah. And I think you should try some elderflower because... I'm yes, going, I've had that. I bet you can grow this in Birmingham. Yeah, Dried well, maybe. I gorgeous. couldn't. Yeah. Um, um, that's very English. You can really, it's, you know, you're starting to show off. Then you've got a little bit of dried jasmine. Yep, yeah, lovely. Along with your decaf black tea. And it starts to get quite complicated and interesting, but not off-putting. It's not too poncy. Anyone can have this cup of okay. tea. Okay. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. Oh, what's going on in the cup? That's the kind of thing you want, isn't it? Yeah. So, look. There so, it this, is. is this good for, like, before bed, or is it going to be, is it relaxing, or is it just everyday well, tea? That is an, I would say, an all-day tea. If you want to go a bit more relaxing, why don't you put in a little bit of chamomile? This was only harvested about 10 weeks ago. Oh. Look at that. And the... Aroma almost put you to sleep. So you can drink this wherever you are. It's not just a bedtime tea. Look at that. Would you keep that in? Definitely keep oh, it in. Why not? Stalk on tea. Oh, stalk on tea. There we go then. Right. I'm now going to make my tea. I've got the lovely Brita filtered water, which is going to make my tea um, clearer. You can hear it off. Can we have a? Can we have a shot of the? Look at that kettle. That's gorgeous. It, it all close up shot. We need like some do 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 music. <laughs> so it's going to be clearer with the Brita filtered water. It's also not going to have kind of a scum ring around it if you um, use hard water. So this is the perfect water to make the perfect cup of tea. So I'm looking forward to getting it started. There we go. Lovely. I'd put a bit more in actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Go big or go home. That's it. There we are. Okay. Lovely. That's looking good. And then was it four minutes to leave? Eh? Yeah. Four minutes. Okay. So we'll leave this four minutes. Oh, oh look, you're getting the money shot. <laughs> look at that. Here we go, right? I'm not doing the slurpy thing again. I'm just going to taste it normally. Ready? That's nice. That is really nice. I am going to put some milk in. <laughs> I know, I know that's like controversial. How much is too much milk, do you think, in a cup of tea? That much. That, that would be too much. I like loads of milk in my tea. I feel like you might be judging me a little bit. Is that too much? That's quite a milky tea, isn't it? Right. Let's try it. I like it. It's better than... Um, it doesn't taste like decaf tea. It tastes a bit more... Fragrant is. Exactly, the fragrant. Exactly, you were like, that's correct, yeah, that's yes. And because of the Brita filter, there's no chlorine in it, there's no bad stuff in it, so it's just a better cup of tea. Okay, we've decided that tea bag is gonna be good for me to take it home. So should we put, we're gonna put this in. Some there. of the as yet unnamed tea. The, as yet unnamed. We've had some good names come through, so thanks so much if you sent some. They seem to be very brummy based, but I'm all about that. Typical tea bags usually two or three grams, but you're going to get four grams for a good, strong cup of tea. There yeah. we go. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's cool. And it's not going to all come flying out. No, no. So I could drink my own tea on the train. 
It's great if you're traveling. Yeah, otherwise yeah. teapots always give you better taste, but most people will use tea bags, even at home. <laughs> I am back home in lovely sunny Birmingham. I had such a lovely time with Britta in Tregothan. It's the UK's only tea plantation. Um, Jonathan, who runs it all, is such a laugh and he was such a good, fun character. It was just, it was just a real giggle. But I made my own tea and I took to Instagram and we did a poll. And you lot out there, if you follow me on Instagram, came up with, are we ready? It's in my new cupboard. We've got Babs Brew. Yeah! It was a choice between Babs Brew and Bippity Boppity Brew. But we've got, we've, um, people voted and it's Babs Brew. So I've got my very own tea, which is really exciting. And it's so fancy to have it in my cupboard. Um, it was just so much fun. It was really interesting to learn about how the filters make your tea taste better. Um, obviously using Brita water filters and jugs is better for the environment because you don't have to use any kind of single use plastic. You just get lovely fresh water from your taps. So it was really good fun. If you want to know any further information about Tregothnan, any further information about Brita, anything like that, I'll leave some links below in the description box. Thanks so much for coming along on my journey with me. Um, it was a real adventure and like, I just love this job because it gives me unique things to do that I would never ever have done in another job so i love you lots i'll see you for another upload soon night guys